Well, here it all is. How you doing everybody? This is making a Kaisen Don at home. Ah, uh, look at that steaming rice. This is going to be the base of our Kaisen Don. It is a little bit, actually this time is wrong. It's uh, about half past 11 p.m. at night. How you doing everybody? I'm in my kitchen and we are about to completely destroy it so my wife gets angry at me in the morning. Never mind that. Today we are going to make a kaisen don. What exactly? Hold on. Okay, that's good. So what exactly is a kaisen don? It is a, um, a bowl. Uh, it's a rice bowl. It is a rice bowl of seafood on top of it. It is really good and it's one of the dishes that if you do come to Japan you must uh, enjoy. Uh, it's usually pretty pricey and it should cost you over $20 for a bowl. I'm saying this in Tokyo because the quality of the ingredients is very important. You know if you're paying on like too little, you're probably not getting fresh ingredients and I'm going to explain why in this episode. Now there's lots of places to get Kaisen Don. Today in a live stream, I went to uh, a, con a um, vending machine and I got this out of the vending machine. Do you see this? This is Ikura. It's 250 grams of uh, fish eggs. See that right there? They're beautiful. Little globes of orange goodness, slightly salty. Um, and uh, yeah, this cost me about $35 for this. All right, pretty crazy. It, it's from Hokkaido, don't worry. It's not uh, imported. And here it is right here. This plastic on top of it, and I see Jennifer and she loves her Ikura. The plastic on top of it, I tried ripping it off. Japan has a like an easy access to open everything. Not this. Had to use an, a, a scissors here. But look at the look at how glorious the orange globes are. Honestly, I could look at this all day. It's almost like I don't know, like like something in a lava. Hold on, let me get the, the light here. Something like in a lava lamp or something. It doesn't seem real, right? Look at that. Oh man, I love the color of it. This is like food that you, I like, I never had Ikuda until I came to Japan, right? And then after I got here, I'm like, dude, this is too weird. I'm not going to eat this stuff. And then I started eating it like one day and I never stopped. It's very expensive. This is $35 worth of it from the vending machine. And if you want to see that live stream, you can just uh, uh, click the link here or just look at the last live stream I did on this channel. Um, let's, ju let's just go ahead. Oh, I, I bought some maguro and I'm going to explain to you um, why kaisen don are, are super expensive. This is the base of the kaisen don. I have some uh, hon wasabi uh, from a tube. I didn't grate it myself. And this edamame, I don't know what this is doing here. It's just for me to snack on. All right. Let's get going. <laughs> um, midnight is snack time for me anyways. I don't know about you. It, it's not look and, and for normal people don't eat at midnight. All right. It's just not it's not good I'm not normal All right, let's get moving. So the first thing you want to do is to get um, Get your rice in there a rice cooker is called a sui hunky in Japanese this thing you see the ridges on it It, it keeps the rice from sticking on to the spatula here or the rice server and the way I do the rice is, uh, go down. That's right. There you go. Oh, it doesn't go down far enough. Gotta turn it around here. The way I do the rice is, I learned to just make a cross like this and then mix it up a little bit. This is one cup of rice. Do we, hold on, we need some music here. Okay, some, something in the background is kind of boring. Right? We got some rice here. Look at that, the good stuff. All right, and then with one hand, because I'm holding the camera with the other, make a base for your kaisen don. Now, many kaisen don places, they might not use rice. That's, that's, they might be cooled down a little bit because the heat does impact the, the seafood a little bit. So that's about uh, three quarters of a cup of rice. It's a lot before you go to bed, <laughs> so it should be fine. Hey, Mr. Doss is in the house. Midnight is actually beer time for me. And I have, I do have something special for you, Mr. Doss. It's the king of beers. Um, and I got this, uh, it was right next to the Asahi, by the way, in the supermarket. So we'll have this in a moment. Thank you, Mr. Doss. It's always nice to see you. 
Long time no see. Uh, the Ikura, I'll put that on next, but I want to explain to you about the ingredients here. So I picked this up at the supermarket. This is um, Akami. This is a Maguro just sliced Akami. Um, it's $6 for this, all right? Just this, check it out. This is from the supermarket, and I'm tr I'm, I really want you to understand why you don't want to underpay at, at, a, at a Kaisen Don restaurant. That's, I mean, that's a reasonable amount of meat. How many grams is this? Um, it doesn't, it doesn't say. Oh, um, maybe 224 grams? No, that's not right. I can't understand. Well, it's, it's this much. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I, I got a scale right here. And this kind of, oh, right here. So we can kind of weigh it. Right? Look at this. People who doubt, people don't doubt it. Doubt me. I will, I will help you get there. I'm a simple man with very few cooking skills. I think I need to be accurate. So how much, oops, hold on, three, three, two, one. Okay, it's, it's all good. So 130 grams of this cost $6. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah. So let's lay this on to the, uh, you can do it with chopsticks or you can do it with your fingers. Just make sure you're, you're, you're clean. I'm, I'm not sure if I am, so. I'm gonna go the chopstick route and then just lay it onto the lay it onto the rice gently. Oh, look at that beautiful maguro cut by a, a sushi chef at the supermarket. We're just gonna do um, a few pieces here. This is my cooking voice. That's what I sound like when I'm cooking. It's very peaceful and calm. Everybody says that I yell. I don't I don't yell that much really. It's very peaceful, very calm. So that's about um, I don't know. I'd say about 85 grams. <laughs> no, my voice isn't that high either. Sorry. It's freaking some people out. Um, next up. No, don't do ASMR. Okay, I'm not trying to. It's just the microphone is so close. It's not my fault. Don't don't blame me. I'm beginner. All right. I don't do cooking. Danny, how you doing? I'm at job, but I watch you. All right, Danny, don't let your boss know that what you're doing is might be slightly naughty. All right. This this is Another reason why Kaisen Don is super expensive. This is from the supermarket. All right, check this out. And don't blame my wife. There's a lot of, sometimes Japanese uh, housewives are watching this and going, how dare John have such a dirty house? His wife must not care. She's not here, so. Um, she's staying with her dad right now, so that's okay. It's my fault. So any critical housewives, do not blame Kanai. It's all me. So if you see any stains or anything, it's, I did it. This is just two little pieces of scallop, okay? And these are pretty big scallop, but they're two two of them, 483 yen, which is like $4.75. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, right? Look at that. That was $4 and like four fifty for just two pieces. So that's, a, I don't like vinegar. I try not, I don't, you, you don't have to put vinegar on the rice. That's up to you. If you, if you do like the vinegar rice, you can do that. I, I, the rice vinegar. For me, that's not a, a criteria for kaisen don. This is not sushi for kaisen don. Um, I don't like the vinegar rice for kaisen don. I want to taste it without the without rice vinegar on it. Sushi, you you need it. It's it's almost like a requirement for it. Um, but already we put on about ten dollars, right? We put on about ten dollars of uh, fish here, which is which is pretty crazy here. So these scallops, it's almost five bucks. Two. Mr. Miyagi will not be happy with my chops get skills. Ah. Sticking to the paper. Ah, Daniel son, you are very foul at this. Okay, here we go. There you go. All right, look at that. Very nice. Yeah. Um, so we have Landon uh, Paulus Gaming going, ooh, gross. So I guess Landis is not on board with this. Just a quick shot of me saying what's up with that. All right, next up, uh, I have the Ikura. Ooh, I think, 
Oh, it, it, it is pretty much 250 grams. It's 272, but if you, if you take in consideration um, the plastic, it might be slightly over that. That's impressive. Thank you, vending machine. It was expensive. All right, here we go. Oh, we could have... Uh, I had to de-thaw de this, so it was in the refrigerator for a good seven, seven uh, hours. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna drown it in this, right? You bought it, you eat it. Remember that scene, Full Metal Jacket with the donut? Yeah, I bought it, I eat it. Just put it in there. Hey, thank you, Paulicia, uh, for joining our Twitter. Just saw you sign up there. Much appreciated. I should leave something for Kanai, but yeah, that's okay. That's that's about, I'd say about, that's about, um, I don't know, 70, 80, 80 grams maybe, 85 grams. So that's about um, about $9 of Ikura. So right now we've got, for a homemade Kaisen Don, we're at about um, $18 for this, I believe. That's crazy. So that's about $18 with, with supermarket and vending machine stuff. This is why a, a good Kaisen Don from a restaurant, you're probably going to pay 2000 uh, yen for it, $20. Hey, Katayama's in the house. You've lived in Japan how long and still can't use chopsticks? I can use chopsticks, but it's stuck to the paper. Look, I can pick up paper. I can pick up edamame. I could probably eat this, take the edamame pod out if you give me some time, okay? I can do it. I can open this beer with the chopsticks, but something says that might be a cultural faux pas. Faux pas, right? I don't want to get in trouble. All right, next up, just bear with me here. Next up is, <laughs> this is tamagoyaki. This I also got at the um, uh, Skiji restaurant. Now the owner of the restaurant, he gave me um, uh, six, a half a dozen of eggs for free. He said, just for today. And he knew I was a YouTuber. I was YouTubing uh, live. You can see that live stream a, a little bit before, but uh, about, what was it? Like, like 10 hours before, something like that. Very nice. People are pretty friendly. I, I always found like if you go at off peak times, people are a little bit more, a little bit more friendly. And always, if you see an, a, a cute old lady, always, always say something like you know like kawaii um, desu, like 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 bijin da ne, like like say something like like uh, like you're so beautiful to her, she'll give you extra food. Always, always does it at the market. So wherever I go in Japan, comp flattery gets you free food. So. I do it. Flattery gets you free food. I don't like that flicker. Right. Let's get some mood lights. Hitchcock would like this. All right. Um, can I get down more? There you go, that's good enough. Tamagoyaki, I don't think we need the whole thing, so I'm just going to cut a small piece of it. Oh, there's a piece of negi right there. Oh, that's too good. Oh, it's slightly sweet. I like this. Mmm, nice dashi. I'm gonna cut it this way. Five, because four is not a good number. So there you go, a little bit of tamagoyaki. I'm gonna put this in the kaisen bone right here. Um, it adds a little bit of color to it, right? You can add some, you can add some uh, green to it if you want. This looks pretty good. There you go. So we're pretty much done. There's one more thing. This is a, a, a low a low budget production here. <laughs> one more thing. Get some mood lighting here. One more thing that I want to do. I gotta now. That's actually pretty. pretty looks pretty good. Uh, I gotta I gotta get the soy sauce in there with with, with the wasabi. And uh, that's right. Darth got got it right, Mr. Darth. Well done. Um, so that's the next thing to do. I think I could just turn on the overhead lights. Hold on. How's that? See, th there's like a. It, it's it's flickering like I'm in a horror movie. I really have to move. Like there's a a force inside this room that I don't want to mess with. Really? 
don't ask questions. Maybe I should gotta play some some happy music. It's like not good. Uh, next up is the sauce on here. Are you following at home? Are you taking notes? I, I hope so. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is pretty crazy. Alright, let's see here. That wow, that looks pretty good. I'm impressed so far with my ability to make to make this. And right now I'm just making the thumbnail here because I have to have something something to uh, put that looks better. Wow. I should put this on, on the uh, Instagram here. What are you doing looking at me? Look down here at the at the Kaisen Dawn. It's much better. I'm trying to get a good shot of it here. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's pretty nice. Get the edamame there. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Homemade. Seconds. Nice. Oh wow. Okay. No more play time here. People are watching. Alright. You know, in a live stream it's hard to do everything yourself. The one thing I learned, I cannot actually film an edited episode and live stream at the same time. It's impossible. You start to lose quality. Um and it just makes you go crazy. Frosty's going good, better than this light. Hold on. We're going dark mode here. Better than this light. It's kind of creepy. Uh, Mr. Das, the force is okay. It's July 5th, not May the 4th. That's a good point. It's a very good point. Um, just so you guys, I want to say, I want to say, ha um, I say uh, happy uh, Independence Day to everybody in the United States. Tomorrow, Peter and I are going to celebrate, or not celebrate, but I know Memorial Day has passed, um, and we celebrate Independence Day. Uh, I've been wanting for a long time to go to uh, Hewajima, which is an island where the Omori prison camp, where the POWs, American POWs, were held there um, during the war. It was a brutal place. And Peter and I uh, both had a family that fought in World War II. And we were thinking tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. we're going to go down to the memorial to the uh, Hewajima and uh, pay our respects to um, uh, the servicemen that were captured and, and a lot of them did not make it. Um, and leave some, we're going to leave some, this, this is sort of why I have a uh, Budweiser. We're going to leave some Budweisers behind for the boys that didn't make it home uh, and say thank you. Uh, you know, it, it, war is a tough thing, but um, it's something we both wanted to do. And um, um, Happy Rails uh, and other veterans are very interested and asked me to do this. So uh, as I'm your legs here in Japan, as many of you can't come here, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I, it's going to be really emotional. Wait, where'd the soy sauce go? Wait, what? Hello? Oh, I forgot. Uh, can I buy them at Costco at this size? It doesn't work well. Wait, I should pan down. You don't need to see my, you know. All right. This wasabi looks like pigeon duty. Just saying. All right, that should be good. You don't want to put too much, just a little bit. Doop. There you go. I feel like I'm mixing paints for the joy of painting. Thanks everybody for joining me. Next we're gonna paint a mountain on the backdrop of a beautiful Swiss landscape. All right, let's pour this now on top of the Kaisen Dawn. We're getting there, we are getting there. This is not complicated. This is not complicated. Oh, look at how good this is. I can't believe I made this myself. It should be illegal. You should never let John in the kitchen. Just stay away. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Go, 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 go. Soak, soak, soak. Oh, God, that's way too much. What have I done? Totally ruined it. No one's listening. It's okay. Wow. So that's a Kaisen Don. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, it is a uh, select seafood on a bed of rice. The tamagoyaki cost me about $4. 
that's a, a, a big block of it right there. So I'd say this is about a dollar's worth of it. Um, this has negi in it, so I, I asked for that because I like negi. The ikura was 250 grams for 20, for $35, and this is about, um, oh, I'd say about 80 grams, so about 900 yen worth of ikura, which is the most expensive. That hotate scallops there, two of these cost about $4, and the magro there, that's about, oh, about 40% of the of the uh, $6 I got there, so that makes that about uh, $4, so 4 uh, 8 um, 17, 18 plus the rice. It's a good, this is 2000, this is $20. This cost me $20 to do it at home. All right. So that's why when you go out to a restaurant and you're spending less than $20 for kaisen don, I guarantee you, you're not getting good fish. Do you understand now? Does this make sense? This is why I wanted to do this. It wasn't just so I could make, show you my dinner, but I wanted you to understand that, um, um, when you go out to eat in Japan, you get, and Jason's right, quality matters. It has nothing to do so much with quality as this. You get what you pay for in Japan. There's no no getting around it. If you want a cheap meal, you can get that, an unigiri or a sandwich at the convenience store. It'll probably have some chemicals in it. It'll taste good, but it's not good for you. And it, if you want authentic kaisen don, you're going to have to pay like $20 for it. In fact, if you want like shrimp and other stuff, probably closer to 30 to $35 for it is not out of the question. It is not cheap, um, but it is not expensive for a bowl with, with what I would call a treasure from, this, from the sea. Now the word kaisen, uh, kaisen don, don at the end of it, you know, gyudon means uh, beef bowl, don means the, the bowl, like a donburi don, and kai comes from the sea, so kaisen is seafood and it's a seafood bowl. Now I gotta eat it. All right, if you like John cooking in the kitchen, click the like button. And if you don't, just click it anyways because I'm sure that there's some people who, who think that this is totally ridiculous and is a complete waste of time. All right, kanpai to everybody. I would put it in a glass. Hold on, let's see. For scientific purposes, let's see if Budweiser looks the same in Japan. You be the judge. Yeah, so I think it's about the same. All right, come by everybody. It's not the same as American American Budweiser. It's not the same. There's something missing. It's not, not quite the same. Um, let's let's eat this thing here. Pretty hungry. I uh, held off of dinner so I could make this with you. All right, we're gonna try first the ikura because this is the uh, uh, this is the treasure right here. Oh, ho, ho. every bite of this is gonna be good. I it's even better when you make it yourself. Look at that. Use the fork. Do you mean like use the force? I'm not going to use a fork. What country do you think this is? Japan. All right, next up. <laughs> like, uh, I love t talking with the chat here. I really should have the Discord chat on here and taking questions, but we'll do it. We'll do it the other. Here, here this is the scallop um, from the supermarket today. Scallops are pretty fresh. That is an actually, actually a massive scallop from Hokkaido. I made sure... Uh, Ingredients were as fresh as possible. What does scallop taste like, John? It tastes like scallop. Mmm. Wow. Meaty. Fresh. There's no s fish smell to it. There's no offensive smell or anything like that to it. It's very meaty. A little bit of this, the wasabi and soy sauce on that one. There wasn't much that, that had gotten in there. Um, really good. Really meaty. I, I think if you cook it, more of the flavors come out. A little bit of salt, but as is, it was amazing. Really juicy. Um, I can see, I love scallops, and I can see why it, it, they are pretty expensive uh, at the size and quality. You get what you pay for, as, as I said. Um, that was 
two dollars for that one scallop <laughs> from the supermarket. All right, let's get back down here. They were thick, right? They're thick. Okay, here we go. Um, next up is the magaro. I'm gonna take this piece right here with a little bit of rice on there. Again, you, you, I don't put rice vinegar on my kaisen dons, but you know you can do whatever you want to do here. Um, the beauty of kaisen don. Here's a some magaro right there. Follow it up. Oh, that's good. Oh. You can have chew total. You can have a higher quality of maguro on top of your kaisen don. I like a kami. I like a kami because it's got it's got more character to the meat. The fattiness is good in the chew total, but when you put the soy sauce and the wasabi on top of it, you, you want the akami. And you pay less for it and you get more of it. So, uh, you know, for me, it's a win-win. The akami for the win. I'm going to put this away in old frosty here. Wow. All right. Last but not least is the, when the lighting is awful, this is a totally low quality live stream. All right. This is the um, uh, tamagoyaki that I got from the store. Let's give this a try. It's a nice piece here. That's good. You know, good top. Good. Good. Good tamagoyaki should be juicy, wet. Um, not sloppy wet, but it should be wet. I mean, have some moisture to it. There, after you've had. Um, I had tamagoyaki at, and it was the last piece of sushi that came to us at Sushi Saito in, in Rapongi Ichome. I went there uh, about three years ago. Uh, we spent about $400 a person because we drank a lot of wine and, and sake. Now a little bit more than $400 a person. The last piece of fish, and you got to do that once or twice in your life. I am hypnotized. <laughs> drink another beer, Mr. Das. Uh, it was worth it because when you have the best of the best and after you've been eating at like conveyor belt sushi places or uh, medium grade nigiri sushi places like Sushi Zanmai, which is great, when you have the best, you really are blown away by it. You have to have been eating sushi for a little bit before you go to high end. When you go to the highest end, oh my, you really, you can taste every single flavor. It, it, it brings out emotions in the food, I, I almost was in tears sometimes from the, the one piece of fish. Like, how could it have that much flavor and be so good? It was perfect. It was like the chef had thought about the moistureness and said, no, 32.65 is not good enough. We need 32.7. That's perfect. Like they had studied it to find the perfect, like umami, like satisfactory flavor, taste, texture, everything. That was worth $400. That's why high-end sushi is worth it. It is expensive sushi. You can, it, it just, it's a different experience, but it will move you. This kaisen don will move you too, because I can't guarantee the quality of my cooking. All right, move you to the restroom. It'll be fine. I, I can't believe that I got this um, ikura from a vending machine. <laughs> I got it from a vending machine today. Ah, it's pretty crazy. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. That is some good stuff. Woo! Mmm! Wasabi! What? Alright. Questions? I will take some questions from the audience. Click that thumbs up button. John Dobb, th three plus years ago, equals Ralph Macchio, John Dobb now, Vince McMahon. What? Look, you know, that's not a question, all right? That's insanity. Um, 
Asiya Khan, I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you. How much of it put uni? <laughs> Nothing. Hello. It's no uni. Uni sea urchin. Nothing. I can't afford that. Who do you think I am? Ever since I tasted authentic sushi at, at Skiji Market in 2018, this is from uh, Alarni Rivera, everything else that I eat in Australia tastes like 2 out of 10. Nothing beats authentic chefs and ingredients. Exactly. The Swegen, Swe, Swegen one. Uh, hi, John. Happy 4th of July from the United States. Uh, sorry, I keep me um, message you other live stream. I can't, I catch up on them. Thank you. The wasabi face is, is pretty, pretty hideous. Adding uni would make it expensive. I don't know. Uni is, well, I get like a, this is a kabe don, all right? This is not a position that any, this is not a position any woman in an office would want to see a man with a hand against the wall and you can't escape. This is you right now. You're, ka you're kabe don. And <laughs> kabe means wall and don I've taught you. Don't kabe don people, all right? You're kabe don right now. I, I just noticed it. it's pretty, na pretty nasty idea and don't pick rice out of your teeth when you do it too <laughs> like this is all like fail all right anago would be pretty good on it too um sweet shrimp would be excellent uni is an acquired taste not everybody likes it the cost performance of uni i think is not there but if you're in hokkaido if you're in a place that specializes in it like in northern uh Aomori, oh my gosh you have to get it there's a place in northern Aomori. It's it's not near the city. It's not convenient. I think you might even need a car. There's no train lines going there. A bus. Um, but it's in the boons. An old lady makes it. She Every morning, she makes like 10 kilograms. She scoops out 10 kilograms of uni, sea urchin. And she sells like a massive bowl of it for like $8 or something. 800 yen. It's massive. It's just topped with uni. It's insane. It's mind-blowing. That in itself is worth a trip there. Listen to this, all right? I'm gonna tell you this. Um, I, I wanna go back and, and, and film her because she's such, she's such a gem. Um, <laughs> she does all this alone. And the, there's a line out the door, all right? She, she's just really good at it. And we were the last customers in. I was with the guy who was working with the prefecture of Aomori at the time. He had invited me to come and, and film the, the Magoro episode for the old channel. And on the way back, I stopped at the Sikura place. I wish I'd live streamed it. I think I, I might have live streamed it on here. After we were done, you don't know about this. After we were done um, and we we're about to leave, the kitchen was filled with bowls. It was a disaster zone. So me, um, him, the the um, um, Saito-san, who's, who's a friend of mine over there, and um, <clears throat> uh, two other people, we washed the dishes for her. <laughs> we washed the dishes for about 30 minutes and cleaned up her kitchen and we didn't want anything in return it was it was our pleasure because I like she's a master of uni and it and it, it was it felt pretty cool to be that close to the master and to help her out in the kitchen but she was doing it all alone and she's like in her like her 70s or 80s or something but more energy than me and that's crazy because I had a lot of energy um my average hours of sleep is like six to eight it's normal now all right, depending on if the baby's here or not. <laughs> it depends. Uh, uh, you look fresh at midnight. Um, this is my peak. I edit usually until 4. And then I sleep until, until 9 or 10. But um, I'll edit a little bit tonight before bed, but I'm going to bed early tonight. Uh, it's been a pretty rough June. Um, pretty rough June, yeah. But I'm, I'm happy that we've passed the, the 4th of July and, and could celebrate Independence Day together. So... <laughs> happy happy Independence Day, everybody. Budweiser from Japan to you. That does not taste the same. It's better. How does Budweiser here taste better? Why? If you do come to Japan, you got to try to try Budweiser if you're a Bud, Budweiser fan. It's bizarre. Budweiser here tastes better than Budweiser in America, just like everything else. I don't know. My friend and her husband works for a company there that farms uni. Apparently, there's too much of it. I don't, I don't doubt that. I, I, I do know that up in Aomori, they do get it out of the sea there. I don't know if it's farmed or not. I'm not sure. I guess it would be. But she, no, no, I don't think it is. She literally goes out um, in the morning, collects it from the sea, in season. She collects it from the sea. I'm not kidding you. She'll scoop out 10, 10 kilograms of it, and she has a, a bucket of uni. She has a bucket of it. This is like thousands of dollars of uni she carries in. 
um, and she just scoops it and puts it on rice and she makes I don't I don't know how much money she makes but she doesn't charge a lot for it and she works her butt off for everything that she got um, I, I can't wait to bring you that story I'm gonna try to go up there um, maybe at, at the end of the summer when uni season is, is, is here yeah um, click that like button I do appreciate you joining me for dinner tonight um, and helping me pay for this uni uh, uh, this, this Ikura, <laughs> $95. This all came from you. I appreciate the support. Tomorrow, my friend Peter and I are going to be going to Heiwa Jima, depending on the weather. Depends on the weather. If it's raining, we're not going to go. Um, and give our thanks to the servicemen, um, who were, didn't make it there. Um, just so that we can remember, um, you know, the, the people that, that gave their lives for, for, for us to have the Independence Day, for us to have, um, what we do have. Um, just to say thank you and remember them because it's important to do that. Um, Peter and I will go there probably around 9 in the morning, so I don't know when the live stream will start, maybe 9 30, 10 o'clock, I'm not sure. It's a 13 hour, 13 kilometer bicycle ride for me to get there. So uh, we're, we're going to earn this thing. Greetings from Singapore, thank you. You can write in where you're watching from to, to end this live stream. It's always nice to see where the viewers are, but please have a good morning. Uh, enjoy your, your week coming up. I think it's Monday morning for, for a lot of you in the United States. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next live stream, maybe uh, from Heiwa um, at a at the marker from where the Omori prison camp was, um, where we'll, we'll leave some beers behind for the boys that didn't make it home. Have a good day, guys. You can enjoy the last 20 seconds looking at this butchered kaisen don. <laughs> it's very, very not appealing right now, but this is my dinner.